Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Uh, this time a video about Mars. Because uh, I get a lot of questions from people who ask me if I only work uh, on anomalies on, uh, on the moon and why I don't do anything with Mars. Well, um, this is something I found a couple uh, months ago and I'd like to show it to you. Um, it's the way NASA sees uh, Mars and uh, I will show you Mars from my perspective and then we'll, we'll see that there is a difference. Okay, here we go. First, uh, we'll take a look at M1101782, the official uh, Mars, uh, Mars image. And uh, from their perspective, from NASA's perspective. And here is the surface. See, it looks like ice with all kinds of minerals or lava fields. Because NASA is not very uh, explicit in their explanations. And of course, uh, Joseph P. Skipper thinks, uh, uh, Joseph P. Skipper from uh, MarsAnomalyResearch.com, that uh, this might be vegetation. And you know what? I think he's right. And I'll show you why. Again, this is the uh, Mars perspective from NASA. Okay. All kinds of interesting structures. And now we'll slowly come to the most interesting part. Right here. We see a ridge here. And we go down, down, down. We see something that looks like a riverbed, dried up riverbed. Trails. Go further down. So now it gets interesting because we see something here that looks like ice or a lake or uh, melted lava or minerals. It's reflecting light. But it's not quite clear what it is. And this is uh, looks yeah. This also looks like uh, ice or lava. Unfortunately, we only get uh, these. Uh, black and white images from NASA. We don't get any color images. And I wonder why. It's all very interesting. Except you don't see much. Here are two perfect circles, which is very unusual in nature. This looks like a river with ice. So now we come to um, another wood, another forest, and uh, we have some ice again, or whatever it may be. Is this a bird? Vegetation again, or minerals, with object. Well, from NASA perspective, there's not much to see because it's not the original perspective. For that, we have to um, pen and tilt, and that's what we're going to do now. So, now we're going to take a look at my perspective. Now we see that it's already different because what we saw from above we now look from the side and we see that the picture is a hill with a slope and a river. Why a river? Well, let's increase, zoom in. Here we have water. This is the edge. 
river edge. Here we have uh, water around the curve. Here we have a uh, what looks like a waterfall. Goes down further. See, the water runs down the slope here and comes into a pond right here. Here we see water running over the over the rocks into a lake. We see reflections, light reflections. We see depth. And this is an isle, a little island. And here the water runs further and comes back again here. It's floating here around the curve, running over the rocks here, down downstream, here into a large lake. So this is the bottom of the lake with vegetation. It's getting deeper here, more vegetation. And now we see also the reflections here, which gives the indication that what's lying here is lying on the bottom. Then we see currents right here. See? from top left to bottom right and we now we even can distinct streaming so in my view we're looking at a river and a lake and possibly uh, life forms vegetation or even uh, real life forms So, when you look at it from my perspective, it's different. And that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.